Tonight, wild ride. An elderly driver loses control and slams into a nursing home. So it's quite a lucky escape for her. Chase chaos. A White House pursuit ends with the driver dead, her baby in the back seat unharmed. Up in flames. A welder's spark blamed for a $2 million blaze. And ship shape. The pride of the world's navy celebrates an Aussie maritime milestone. Ah! This is 10 Eyewitness News with Yasmin Payton. Good evening. First tonight, a wayward elderly driver has slammed into a Frankston North aged care home, the impact throwing a 91-year-old resident across a room. The car crashed through a wall at Forest Lodge, but amazingly, no one was badly injured. Michael Bennett is at the scene and joins us live. And Michael, how did it happen? Good evening, Yasmin. Yes, the 81-year-old ploughed through the wall of the Forest Lodge nursing home here in Frankston North just before 2.30. Tomorrow night. On Sunday, he'll then head to Perth to meet the WA Premier Colin Barnett before heading home. So just a very, very quick visit, but one that's certainly generating a lot of excitement. Thanks, Ellie. Ellie Southwood live in Sydney. Now, here's Rob looking ahead to Friday Night Sport. Yasmin, the AFL's free agency period is underway as two Tigers leave Punt Road. We'll cross live to Collingwood's best and fairest to see whether Dale Thomas fronts. The Kangaroos hold talks with St Nick Del Santo. Adam Simpson unveiled as the new Eagles coach. The Bush Rangers take on the Redbacks. And it was Jason's day at the President's Cup. The Australians sinking a clutch putt as the internationals take it right up to the Americans. Coming up in 10 Eyewitness News. A grim discovery on a Morwell property. Fears Indonesia's handing out soft sentences for people smugglers. And One Bounce, the world's biggest boy band, gets to grips with Victoria's Game. This is 10 Eyewitness News and a woman has been found dead at a rural property in Morwell. The woman in her 40s was discovered in a paddock just after 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. It's believed the woman died from hypothermia after becoming caught in chicken wire. While the homicide squad was initially called to the scene, the death is not being treated as suspicious. The Abbott government is insisting Indonesia is cracking down on people smuggling, but two people smugglers have been jailed for only seven months for loading asylum seekers on an unseaworthy boat. Adam Todd is in Bali and filed this exclusive report. Nervously waiting in their Bali jail cell, these two people smugglers will today learn their fate. Booty Imran and... We're going to take Dan Road or the Princess Highway instead. See you soon. Thanks, Emma. Ahead in 10 Eyewitness News. Unseen footage released of an infamous US military disaster. And a heartfelt thanks for saving the lives of sick children for 25 years. You're watching 10 Eyewitness News. Never before seen footage of America's Black Hawk Down tragedy has emerged on the 20th anniversary of the military disaster. The moment the helicopter was hit by fire from Somali fighters and sent crashing to the ground was caught on military surveillance cameras. 18 US soldiers and hundreds of Somalis were killed in the subsequent battle to retrieve the bodies. Past, present and future global leaders are gathering in South Africa, preparing to take on some of the biggest issues facing the planet. And as Mark O'Brien reports from Johannesburg, the youth of today is being described as one of the most powerful generations ever. Inside a stadium, nations flew their own flags, but united for the one young... ...will play in Sydney tomorrow night before returning to Melbourne for three more shows. Coming up, city tramworks threaten to cause commuter chaos. And T-Rex Terror, a prehistoric performance at the Arts Centre. Scary. Yells really loud. <laughs> Good
You're watching 10 Eyewitness News and police have clashed with protesters at the site of the planned drill tests for the controversial East-West Link. Melanie Davies joins us live now for more. Melanie, what prompted the confrontation with police? Well, Yasmin, we've just been speaking to protesters who have described dramatic scenes at the station street site. They gathered... All the details, of course, on the webpage, giveadogahome.com.au. Got the forecast in full in half an hour's time. I shall see you then. Yes. Thanks, Mike. Now Rob's back with Friday Night Sport. Yasmin, Jason Day and Adam Scott lead an international revival at the President's Cup. The AFL's free agency officially opens and the player movement keeps on coming. North Melbourne's leadership group has a heart-to-heart -heart with Nick Del Santo. We cross live to the Copeland Trophy. The Eagles unveil their new coach. And how fast can you run a three-kilometre time trial? This year's draft prospects push to breaking point. Sports Report, brought to you by Morris Blackburn Lawyers. Fighting for fair since 1919. Good evening. Collingwood's best and fairest count is on tonight, but it's as much about who won't turn up as it is about who'll win. Reporter Nick Butler joins us live from Crown Casino. And Nick, fill us in. Hi, Rob. Yeah, well, there'll certainly be a few no-shows tonight, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess that is just the way footy is going. We'll start Wendell with... Browns that. beat the Buffalo Bills. It also helped earn Benjamin our play of the day. Have a good weekend, yes? Thanks, Rob. Checking last night's Powerball results and with no Division 1 winner, the prize pool jackpots. Division 2 returns $26,700, Division 3 pays $10,000, Division 4 227, Division 5 6570, Division 6 3825, Division 7 29 and Division 8 $13.45. Time to check traffic again, so let's cross back to Emma in the chopper. Thanks a lot, Yasmin, in the Car City Traffic Chopper and plenty of congestion throughout the inner city area, including here on Dandenong Road, seeing city-bound delays from Hotham Street onto Queens Road all the way onto Kingsway, and that's heavy going in both directions. No surprises there. Even seeing lots of congestion on Fitzroy Street, it's heavy going as you make your way through Albert Park, also along Albert Road as you head towards the bay. Lots of traffic on the freeways too. The Eastern Freeway struggling from the Chandler Highway out to Bulleen Road. Monash Freeway still recovering after earlier incidents, seeing delays from Burnley Street now. Pretty much all the way out to Belgrave Hallam Road. Some good news though for the Calder Freeway. That's looking pretty good out of town. Have a great weekend. Thanks Emma. Mike's back after the break with all the weather details. And VIP, a very important pig, hogs the red carpet in the city. Welcome back. And citygoers were brought to a standstill at Federation Square as it was invaded by some furry friends. Rolling out the red carpet, Polly the Pig was joined by all things great and small to celebrate World Animal Day. The event raising awareness of the importance of looking after pets and providing tips on which ones can master the toughest tricks. It might take, you know, 50 goes to teach a, a German Shepherd, but we take about three or four to teach a pig. A special twilight blessing of the animals will also take place at Fed Square next week. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Masters Home Improvement. Spring starts right here, so head in store or shop online. Now it's back to Mike with the latest word on our weather. Yes, thanks again, Yaz. Good evening. No hamming it up tonight. I tell you what, when the sun shines, our city sparkles. Tell all your visiting friends, this is how Melbourne's weather always is. And it's getting better this weekend because we have longer evenings. Let's bring on the clock. Daylight saving begins this weekend. Before you go to bed tomorrow night, put your clocks forward one hour, officially beginning at 2 a.m. Sunday, when it becomes 3 a.m. Sunday. Daylight saving finishing early April. OK, now a couple of photos, and it's back to beach weather. Well, sort of, as the kids' holidays wind up. From Nicky Matcham, Sorrento Back Beach. Oh, and a little bit livelier, Caram Beach from Sandy Wills. Well, it was a cold start to your day. Just 6 degrees in Melbourne this morning. Our maximum beautiful 21, or to be exact, 21 
7.5 at around 3.30. Friday night in the city, it is 20 degrees. The humidity around 40%. The wind are light northerly and it is comfortable outside. Around town today, have a look at those maximums this afternoon. Generally between 18 and 20 degrees. Across our state for a change, a ton of sun and the wind has been. 24 degrees the 26 top. next week. We're going to take a sickie. Next Wednesday, 26 degrees, the pick of the week. Thursday, 23, and this time next week, around 18 degrees. That is the forecast. Have yourself a fabulous weekend. I always feel good when daylight saving kicks in, and that's the case. Yes. Thanks, Mike. And that's 10 Eyewitness News for this Friday night. Stay with us. The project coming up at 6.30. Take care. Good night.